All right, so I was kind of dreading doing this review because it is it's, this review is going to be very negative, and I've been trying to like stay away from having like overly negative videos and having overly um negative reviews. And in general, I don't want to be negative towards a game from a franchise that's literally in my top five franchises when it comes to shooters. So like, there's number one is Halo, obviously. Number two is Gears of War. Three is Battlefield. You know, this is my top three when it comes to freaking, you know, my favorite shooters of all time. And it, it pains me that, you know, I'm at us. We, unless you live in Iraq, you, you know the situation. Battlefield is getting like review bombed across the board. Um, and in some cases, it deserves it, in some cases, it, it doesn't. Because Battlefield 2042 is not a garbage game, Battlefield 2042 isn't, you know, as bad as those reviews are um when it comes to battle 2042 and this is my review for the game um there is no campaign so we can just go ahead and do the review um it released on friday um it was in early access from the previous friday so it's been out for 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 quite a while um i did my halo review last week so if you watch my halo review at the end of this video go ahead and watch halo review if you don't follow me on twitch i'm gonna be streaming live today at 3 p.m eastern 7 p.m eastern playing some halo uh ranked solo so link to me in the screen box below. It's only on screen now. I'm on Twitch. So I just brought a bit. Um, I just actually my second take of this review. Um, this is why we're doing a review of crap out of bed because actually my, my original review was, was was recorded right after I recorded my Halo review. But I want to like read the review because I want to like re talk about um some things when it came to, to, to Battlefield. And when it comes down to it. I said this to the, to the act man, I've said it to a few people, that Battlefield games have always released broken since Bad Company 2. Battlefield 3 was terrible at launch. Um, Battlefield 4 was unplayable for like half a month, if not an exact month. Battlefield 1 was broken at launch. Battlefield 5 was broken at launch. Battlefield games released broken. That is not an excuse. You know, like, you, you know how back in the day when Bethesda games would come out you, you, and if, you, if it was your first time playing Bethesda games, you'd be like, oh, it's a Bethesda game. They're always buggy. And it was like, it was like a, with a, with a, a, a charming, cute little shrug towards it because it's like, their games are so good. Who cares if they're buggy? And that's kind of how some Battlefield fans feel towards the dice. It's like, well, Battlefield games are always broken when they release. And it's true. I've been playing I've been playing these Battlefield games since 1941. I played Battlefield Bad Company, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1. Like I I'm a Battlefield fanboy. I've been playing these games. And Battlefield 2042, at its core, is actually a really good game. Like, ignore the reviews. Let's do let's do, you know, go watch Jay's if you want to listen to a review, watch Jay's two cents review and watch my review. At the core of the game. Battlefield 2042 is a good game. When they fix all these issues, which they likely will, I don't know how they're going to take them to fix these issues, but they're likely fixing issues. It's a, a good game. And by the time they fix the issues, it will be on the surface more good than just at its core being a good game. Now, right now, it's not a good game when it comes to you know the surface, not the core itself, because the game doesn't work properly. The game is broken. The game is buggy. Uh, and when I say it doesn't work properly, it's across the board. Like, it's not like, oh, this, this individual thing is not, is, is what, what doesn't work. I play the character Sundance. Sundance is, um, you've probably already seen it in, 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 you know, in the clips. Sundance's ability is she can throw, um, anti, uh, vehicle grenades and they post a lot going and track vehicles. Sometimes they don't do that. Actually, more times than not, they don't do the, what they're designed to do. And not only that, it seems random. You know, I'll be looking at a vehicle, be it a helicopter, a hovercraft, a tank, and I'll throw the freaking little grenade and it just won't go anywhere. Or I'll see something, throw, throw the grenade, and it'll go somewhere else, as you will see in the clip. Um, and it, that's not how it's designed to work. It's supposed to lock on to what I'm looking at and go towards that by itself and hit the vehicle. Let's do that. Um, there's a, there's not, it's not the only bug. It's one that I, that I figured that I, I deal with the, the most because I play a lot of Sundance. The other bug that I constantly get is the loadout bug, which is also present in the early access. There was a, a day one patch and that didn't fix the loadout bug. The loadout bug, what that is, is you spawn into the game 
with no options to pick a loadout. You pick a specialist and pick a loadout. So basically, your options are either A, quit the game and find a new match, which you still might get a lot of, a lot of bug in a match as well, or B, play the game with no loadout. As in, you're going to be using a, a default weapon and, you know, GG's. <laughs> you're, like, you, you're not going to have anything, any kind of custom, customization just using a, a default weapon. And in most cases, you can't even choose a weapon. It will just give you a gun, and that's what you're going to use in the, in, during that matchup. There's a lot of issues with this game. The game has a massive rubber banding issue. It's super laggy. Um, the maps, the maps in this game are out, outright trash. Like, I'll tell you right now. And here's the thing. The game is visually gorgeous. And the maps themselves, when it comes to looking at them, is gorgeous. Well, fun, mo, not, I won't say all of them are, because about half the freaking maps in the game are all desert maps. So they all kind of look alike, just with, you know, a 20% difference in buildings. But for the most part, the biggest issue with the maps is the fact that they're just too open. It's not a size situation when it comes to like being huge. They're too open. So you have these open ass maps where on some of them, well, most of them, there's like maybe three very large buildings or a, a freaking a, a freighter. It, you know what that means? Everyone's just sniping. The entire, everyone, everyone, everyone's sniping, everyone's using DMRs. There's most using guns in the game because the game is, the maps are so fucking open to where people are just like, all right, it's gonna, it's gonna snipe. It's an, it's an easy thing to snipe because it, the, the game is so open. You know, and it's like, the weapons are also super inconsistent. Like, you'll be using a freaking gun and it'll, like, it'll melt, like, four people in a row. And that fifth person, it's like you're shooting fucking, like, potatoes, like, not even potatoes, it's like a shooting freaking popcorn out of a squirt gun. Like, it's, it's, it's raw. Like, the other issue that I have about for 2041 and 2042, and I said this before, is I don't like, here's the thing, I like specialists. The specialists are actually pretty cool. Um, during, during my, my video about Battlefield before, um, the full release, I mentioned that I had a fear that McKay would be the only freaking specialist used because the other ones were kind of lackluster. Well, Sundance is really good, and right now she's the most used character in, in the game, but that is, there's actually like a lot of good specialists. Like most of the specialists are actually pretty good and have cool abilities. But that's the issue. The issue is, it doesn't feel like a real Battlefield game when it comes to specialists because the classes are just dead. You know, you can literally pick the recon guy and give him a PP-29, give him C4 or anti-air rockets, and like you can turn him into a medic. You turn him into, into an engineer. It's like, I, I long for the days of just picking an engineer, picking a, a, a medic, picking, um, you know, a, a support guy and picking a recon. Everyone in Battlefield 20, 2042 is a recon. Everyone is a sniper. Everyone is a support. Everyone is a medic. Like, literally, everyone's a fucking medic. Every single person in the game has the option to revive people. So you'll constantly see, see freaking, you know, everyone with def defibrillators. It's like, that's not... When I, when I, when I, Battlefield 3 is an amazing game. Once they got rid of, fixed all, like, majority of the frequent the issues with, with it. Battlefield 4, after that first, those first few weeks, was an amazing game. And everything that when it came to how the classes worked was perfect. Why did they change it? You didn't have to change it. You know, no one's in there going, you know what? Battlefield needs to re, re, reinvent the wheel when it comes to their classes. You overcomplicated it. Battlefield 2042 was dice overcomplicating things. Even when it comes to how loadouts work, it's overcomplicated. You know, even when it comes to the whole, you know, fixing your gun on a fly to take the titans off and put titans on, it's over overcomplicated. The UI sucks. You know? There's no game modes. Like, Portal's great. Portal is the best thing in Battlefield 2042, which is hilarious because all Portal is is, hey, do you want to play 1941? Do you want to play Battlefield 3? Do you want to play Back Company 2? Well, guess what? You can in Portal. You can, and, that's, and it's the, literally the best thing in the game. The best thing about, about Battlefield 2042 is with modern graphics and a modern engine, going back to play the older Battlefield games. Because those games work in the game, even though I feel like it's finicky when it comes to the whole loadout thing. It's hilarious. 
And when it comes to like the main game, 2041, there's Breakthrough, and then there's freaking, um, what you call it, what? Hard Zone, and then there, there, there's freaking Conquest. No Conquest Assault, no Rush. There's no game modes when it comes to 2042 itself. We're ignoring Portal. Portal's great. Portal's probably the, the most redeeming quality of this fucking game. Other than the core gameplay. Again, the core gameplay when it works is actually pretty good. Now when it comes to should you, should you as a person watching this video go out and buy Battlefield 2042? No. The game doesn't work properly. You know, and it's your choice. If you if you're a, a Battlefield OG and you're like Battlefield from Bad Company 2 to Battlefield 5 has always launched buggy. Then go ahead and buy the fucking game. If you're okay with the, with the fact that it's always that they've always been buggy and you don't really care, then buy the fucking game. Who cares? But if you're someone who's on a fence, you're, you're, you're new to Battlefield, don't buy the game until it works. Buy it when it fixes it. It's still at it. Like I said, it at its core is a good game. It has the potential to be a good game when it fix all the issues. Battlefield 2042 is a wait. It's not a, oh, this game's trash. Don't play it. Don't buy it. It's a wait. Wait until they fix the game and then buy it. Whether it's on sale or not on sale, just wait and fix the game. How do you find out if, you, if the game's fixed? Watch people who play the fucking game. Watch Angry Joe on Twitch. Watch Jay's Two Cents on Twitch. Watch me on Twitch. Links below the Twitch box below. It's also on your screen. Write the fuck down. Watch me and those two other people because you'll be able to see constant updates on the status of the game as well as in general. We'll tell you, hey, there's been an update to the game. It's, it's good now. Go ahead and, 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 and go buy it. It's probably going to sell 40 bucks or just get it for 60. It, it, it doesn't matter. Just watch people. That's, that's kind of like I always say, this is the beauty of, of Twitch streams or live streams in general. It's the fact you can get a constant stream and update of what the process, the progress of a game is. Battlefield 2042 right now. It's probably a four out of 10. Probably with the potential to be a seven or an eight. I feel like the reason why it's the potential to be a seven is because the maps suck. You know, even if you get you fix all the issues, the map sucking and there being no campaign keeps the game from being higher than maybe than a seven. The eight is possible if it has better maps. So when they add DLCs, freaking you know months from now, they probably add some close quarters DLC maps. They probably add some freaking some maps that are more that has more variety. Because the issue there is no fucking variety in these fucking maps. They'll probably that's, that's when the game will be at, at an eight. But right now. Ignoring the fact that it doesn't that it lacks map variety, ignoring the fact that you know it's it doesn't work, it's a fucking four. And I'm sorry I'm getting frustrated because it's a game that I, a franchise that I love, and it pisses me off that it released it and say that it did. It pisses me off that I'm giving it a negative review because I don't want to. I don't want to give it a negative review. I want I wanted the review to be positive. I wanted to, to to come here and tell you guys that Battlefield 2042 is just as good as I, I hoped it was going to be. Yes, it does feel like Battlefield 3. Yes, it does feel like Battlefield 4 when it comes to the core gameplay. But it has to work. It doesn't matter how, if you feel like those amazing games, if you don't work, fix the issues, dice. Save your game. Like, whatever you're doing right now, and, and here's the thing, the holiday season is coming up, so they're not, not even going to be able to fix it freaking, you know, this month. Because the holiday coming up. So this week they, they they could stay at at work and and fix the game, but they probably won't. They probably have, you know deal with their, have, with their families, which is okay. So we probably, probably won't even see Battlefield twenty four two get fixed till like December, probably before Christmas. You know it's it's it sucks. It it sucks that Danny released in this state. Um, but I I'm I'm I, I'm stuck with it because I can't refund it. You know Xbox won't allow me to do a refund on Battlefield twenty four two because Xbox is dumb. Um, so we'll, we'll be playing it, you know, follow me on Twitch, link, link below, as well as on the screen right now. We'll be playing mostly Halo, but every now and then Battlefield's going to get put into rotation. Like I might do two hours of Halo and two hours of, of um, you know, Battlefield. I stream four hours a day, so that's why I say two hours of each. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. We'll enjoy it. Y'all be kind to one another. Y'all be safe. Even when you take, you take the Archangel, the undiscovered talent. Y'all, I'm out. Deuces.